Okay, so let us see how to solve this recurrence. X of n is x of n over 3 plus 1 for n greater than 1 and x of 1 is 1. So if you anywhere have a recurrence of this form n over something and of this form very similar, here you could have anything 1 or a 2 or a n or anything, n square anything. But if you have something like this, you probably better to use this approach of doing n equals say that base which is 3 in this case rise to k. So then you can do really x of 3 rise to k replace n with 3 rise to k is x of 3 raised to k over 3 is going to be 3 raised to k minus 1 plus 1. So now I can use the same approach that we use for solving recurrences like for factorial that we did earlier. So x of 3 raised to k minus 1 can be written as x of 3 raised to k minus 2 plus 1. So just this part can be written as this x of 3 raised to k minus 2 plus 1 just based on the same idea that we use here. Okay. Then this plus 1 comes over here. So this is now x of 3 raised to k minus 2 plus 2. Okay. So now using the same recurrence, I can write x of 3 raised to k minus 2 as x of 3 raised to k minus 3 plus 1. Alright. Then this plus 2, so it becomes x of 3 raised to k minus 3 plus a 3. So you can in general write x of 3 raised to k as x of 3 raised to k minus i plus i. Okay, and you can keep going until what is that you have 1. So 1 is basically you can say 3 raised to 0. So I can say is equal to x of 3 raised to k minus k. That makes it 3 raised to 0 which you can use this 1. Plus you see this instead of i you replace k so you can say k. So x of 1 is 1, so it's going to be 1 plus k, and you know k is going to be from this. If n is 3 rise to k, k is going to be log n to the base 3. So that's why you have 1 plus log n to the base 3. So for k, you, you can replace this term, which is log n to the base 3. So overall, you can say x of n is theta of log n. All right.